Welcome. The topic for this RMS support tutorial is how to complete a Sidecaster Dredge Report. Now let's get started. The Sidecaster Dredge Report consists of five sections that document the day's use of the dredge. These sections are as follows. Character of report, weather draft, work performed, distribution of work, and QC narratives. Each one of these sections will need to be properly filled out prior to completing the report. To get started, select your contract. Navigate to the QC tab, then QC Daily Reports module. The top section will display all the dredge reports, complete dredge reports, and incomplete dredge reports. To add a dredge report, select any of these tiles and click Add. Click OK. Then select the date. From this menu, you will have three dredge types to choose from bucket pipeline hopper, and sidecaster. Each of these dredge types will be discussed in other videos. Click the link in the description box below to view the instructions for completing the other dredge report types. For this demonstration, we will select sidecaster. There are five different sections to complete for this report. Character of report, weather draft, work performed, distribution of work, and QC narratives. It is possible to complete and copy previous information from other reports into this report by clicking the copy button. Selecting the report data, and the areas you wish to copy, then press OK. In the Character of Report section, choose the different types of character reports based on the contract needs. From here, you will either choose Maintenance or New Work, the Crew Size, Location of Work, Character of Material, and River and Tide Stage. Once the appropriate information is entered, click the Back button to save it. The next section is the Weather and Draft section. From here, you will have to fill out the weather type. As a reminder, you cannot complete this report without filling this information. Once selected, you will also complete the draft section. Once the appropriate information is filled, click the back button to save. The next area to complete is the work perform section. In this section, you must fill out a sidecaster load by providing an unformatted start time. To do so, Click the Add button, enter the time, and press OK. From here, you will input any information about the sidecaster dredge cycle, such as the start time, delays, distance, and average discharge velocity. Once you are completed, click the Back button to save, and once more to return to the sidecaster report menu. The next section to complete is the distribution of work. This area will be broken down into three sections effective working time, non-effective working time, and lost working time. The sum of all activities must equal 24 hours in order for this section to be completed. Once the sum is equal to 24 hours, click on the back button to save. The final section of the report is to complete the QC narratives. As mentioned in other dredging videos, the QC narrative section is considered one of the most important input parts of the data report. This is how you track and describe what happened at the worksite. To add a QC narrative, click Add. From here, a drop-down menu will give you the option to either manually add a narrative or copy narratives from previous reports. For this tutorial, we'll be using the manual add narratives. QC narratives are set up by a USACE official. If you do not see the narrative type, please contact your government representative to have the specific narratives added to the district library. Select the narrative type and click OK. The comments section allows you to add any pertinent information that has happened at the worksite for that day. Once completed, click on the back button twice to save and return to the main report view. This will complete all the sections of the dredge report and it will be now ready to be submitted for review. To complete this report, click on report completed at the bottom left. Click yes. From here, the report will now be generated into a document package. Once the document package is populated, you will need to sign and submit the report to the government for review. To sign the report, double click on the document package. Select the reports to sign and click Sign Selected Documents. Select the report and click Next. The box to include a title with signature enter here allows users to enter their full name and position to show on the signature in the document if required or requested by your USACE representative. 
ensure that the appropriate digital signature position is correct. To choose the appropriate location, double click in the digital signature position field to show the ellipses button. Then click the ellipses button to display different digital signature positions. Choose the correct position and press OK. Once completed, click Finish. Enter your password and click Sign. Once the report has been signed, the next step is to submit for review. To do so, click the Submit for Review button. As a reminder, this document package will become read-only after this action. Click Yes. The Dredge report has now been submitted for review. Click on the back button to view the status change. As you can see, the status at the bottom right is in review. To see if the report has been completed, click on the back button, click on Completed Dredge Reports, and verify that this has been completed by the contractor. In summary, we covered the five sections of the Sidecaster Dredge Report and how to complete and submit the Sidecaster Dredge Report. We thank you for watching and we hope you found this video informative.